Shuja Ud Dalla B the 19th of January 1732 the 19th of January 1732 D the 26th of January 1775 the 26th of January 1775 was the Subadar Nawab of Oudh from the 5th of October 1754 to the 26th of January 1775 Though a minor royal, he is best known for his key roles in two definitive battles in Indian history, the Third Battle of Panipat which temporarily halted Maratha domination of the northern regions of the Mughal Empire and overthrew Shah Jahan III and reaffirmed Shah Alam II as the rightful emperor of the Mughal Empire. He had allied himself with Mir Qasim and took part in the Battle of Buxar, which ended in defeat. Early life Shuja Ud Dalla was the son of the Mughal Grand Vizier Safdarjing chosen by Ahmad Shah Bahadur. Unlike his father Shuja Ud Dalla was known from an early age for his abilities to synthesize his subordinates, this skill would eventually cause him to emerge as the chosen Grand Vizier by Shah Alam II. Shuja Ud Dalla is also known to have assisted the famous Alavardi Khan on various occasions when the territories of the Nawab of Bengal, were being ravaged by Raghoji i Bansal and his Marathas. Thus Shuja Ud Dalla is known to have been a very respected figure among the servicemen of Alavardi Khan. <laughs> Nawab of Awa After the death of his father the Mughal Grand Vizier Safdarjing in the year 1753, Shuja Ud Dalla was recognized as the next Nawab by the Mughal Emperor Ahmad Shah Bahadur. Shuja Ud Dalla despised Imad ul Mulk an ally of the Marathas of the Maratha Empire whose regime emerged after the Battle of Sikandarabad with the support of the Sadashivrao Bao. Imad ul Mulk blinded Ahmad Shah Bahadur and placed Alamgir II on the Mughal imperial throne. Alamgir II and his son Prince Ali Ghar, were often persecuted by Imad ul Mulk because they refused to abandon their peaceful terms with Ahmad Shah Durrani. They also demanded the resignation of Imad ul Mulk mainly due to his relations with the Marathas. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Vizier of the Mughal Empire Prince Ali Ghar fled from Delhi when he realized a conspiracy that would eventually lead to the murder of the Mughal Emperor Alamgir II. Shuj Ud Dalla welcomed and protected Prince Ali Ghar, who then declared himself Shah Alam II and officially recognized Shuja Ud Dalla as the Grand Vizier of the Mughal Empire. Together they challenged the usurper Shah Jahan III, who was placed on the Mughal imperial throne by Sadashivrao Bao and his forces, which plundered much of the Mughal Empire. Shah Alam II was then advised to lead an expedition that would attempt to retake the eastern regions of the Mughal Empire from the British East India Company and Mir Jafar. While Shuja Ud Dalla, Najib ul Dalla and Mirza Jawan Bakht allied themselves with Ahmad Shah Durrani and assisted his forces during the Second Battle of Sikandarabad in the year 1760 and later led a Mughal army of 43,000 during the Third Battle of Panipat. Third Battle of Panipat After escaping from Delhi due to the murder of his father the Mughal Emperor Alamgir II, the young Prince Ali Ghar was well received by Shuja Ud Dalla. The Nawab of Awa and the newly appointed Mughal Grand Vizier Shuja Ud Dalla assured Prince Ali Ghar that he and Najib Ud Dalla would initiate a struggle that would overthrow the Maratha if Prince Ali Ghar would lead what remained of the Mughal army against the expanding British East India Company in Bengal. Shuja's decision about whom to join as an ally in the Third Battle of Panipat was one of the decisive factors that determined the outcome of the war as lack of food due to the Afghans cutting the supply lines of Marathas was one of the reasons that Marathas could not sustain sustained the day-long battle. Their forces were weak due to starvation and also fighting facing the sun. Shuja was earlier not very sure about whose side should he take before the Third Battle of Panipat. Marathas were still further south then and it would have taken them considerable time to reach Shuja's province. Considering the risk he had with upsetting Abdali with his huge army on his soil he took albeit hesitatingly, the decision to join the Afghans and Najib, Najib Ud Dalla. His mother was of the opinion that he should join the Marathas as they had helped his father previously on numerous occasions. 
Eventually he was forced to join the Afghans that were led by Ahmad Shah Durrani, whose troops crossed the flooded Ganges River into his province. As the chosen Grand Vizier of the Mughal Empire, Shuja ud Dalla commanded a sizable army of Mughal troopers, who cut off the supplies of the Marathas and even defeated them in pitched confrontations during the Third Battle of Panipat and eliminated the Maratha leader Sadashivrao Bao. <laughs> Battle of Buxar Shuja is also known for his role in the Battle of Buxar, a battle that was no less definite in Indian history. He along with the forces of Shah Alam II and Mir Qasim were defeated by the British forces in one of the key battles in the history of British rule in India. <laughs> <laughs> Allahabad Treaty He again fought British with the help of Marathas at Kara Jahanabad and was defeated. On 16 August 1765 AD he signed the Treaty of Allahabad, which said that Kora and Allahabad district will go to company and the company will get 5 million rupees from Awa. British will be allowed free trade in Awa and will help each other in case of war with other powers, which was a very shrewd politics of the company, to pay for the protection of British forces and assistance in war. Awa gave up first the fort of Chunar, then districts of Benaras, Ghazapur and finally Allahabad. Re-emergence of Shah Alam II After the defeat in the Battle of Buxar Shah Alam II realized that he needed the help of the East India Company to retain his throne with respect rather than becoming puppet emperor dominated by Marathas and he did so. <laughs> <laughs> Death and burial Shuja ud Dalla died on 26 January 1775 in Faizabad, the then capital of Awa, and is buried in the same city. His burial place is a tomb and known as Gulab Bari Rose Garden. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>